Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lands Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Or is it the Binding of Isaac? No, it totally is. But we are playing a run from Mini Evan today. YouTube user Mini Evan. His real name might be Mini Evan. If so, his parents have a big, very cruel sense of humor, and I would say that he got the short end of the stick. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have a very Meat Boy themed run today, as you can probably tell. We have Level 4 Meat Boy. We have SMB Super Fan. We have Little Chad. We have uh, the Sun card, which is going to be an enormous bandage, or an enormous benefit. But we also have Super Bandage, which actually, you know, literally is an enormous bandage. Uh, and I think that's it. SMB Super Fan, Super Bandage, Little Chad, and 4th level Meat Boy. So we've got a lot of huge advantages for us, but obviously this is Meat Boy themed. We're going to skip over all Dr. Fetus items, otherwise that would make things like way, way, way too easy. But in any case, we've got a, an interesting kind of style of run going on here. How do I know that the secret room is there? Oh, because I've already been to it. I, I don't know if you saw that on camera. I totally forgot. But we accidentally blew a hole in the wall and then the secret room contained 9 cents. I didn't just cheat myself 9 cents for no apparent reason. So what are the conditions of this run? Because we're starting with such benefits. As you might expect, by the way, that I am traveling here, we are not going to be allowed or permitted. Uh, I would kind of like to buy that ladder, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll get Pageant Boy. Um, we are not going to be permitted to go to the item room, so we are going to be allowed to get boss room items, because otherwise it would probably be impossible for us to succeed. Uh, and we're not allowed to take any items that have anything to do with Dr. Fetus. So this is the kind of run where, on first glance, I certainly feel like things are going to be tipped in our favor, at least on these early floors, but it's possible that the lack of item rooms will catch up to us later. But I feel like, you know, the... Um, We've got the correct foundation. Well, we might as well use this world card, because we're going to take the sun card with us. Uh, but we've got a nice foundation for possibly building a better run later. Sadly, I had to leave that ladder behind, but I'm happy that we had a good floor nonetheless. We're doing crazy damage, which feels nice. It almost feels like a reward after that Eve run that we just did uh, in the last episode, which is not a bad run by any stretch of the imagination. I had fun with that. Uh, but at the same time, it was, like, consistently stressful, whereas this run, uh, at least so far, is gonna start out easy and maybe get hard later, which is also, you know, the story of my sex life. Should've said start out soft and then get hard later, that would've made more sense, but, you know. Anytime you say anything on YouTube with hard in it, you immediately have to go to the sexual connotations. It's how you- plus ten subscribers per joke, man! You gotta keep hitting those metrics, anyway. Uh, we're gonna take this pill, because why not, man? We're living large right now. Aw, oh, bad trip. That's actually gonna cost us one spirit heart, which is not so bad. We started with a lot of spirit hearts, because SMB Superfan gives us one, and I believe Super Bandage gives us two. I'm kind of unclear on the mechanics of Super Bandage. Might as well fight in this room. Another pill. It can't possibly be as bad as the other one, unless it's health down. In which case, I suppose it could possibly be as bad. Um, but, uh, I I'm kind of fuzzy on the mechanics of Super Bandage, because I think... It might have, I forgot that it even existed in the game. It might be one of the most rare items. It's not, uh, you know, exceptionally rare to the point of, uh, Sacred Heart or anything like that, but it is fairly uncommon. So this is Bad Trip again. This is... Balls of Steel. Fantastic. Makes up for that Bad Trip pill. Uh, and we're gonna continue moving onwards. Maybe going to the shop if we find one, although... We've got a sweet little, like, flanking system going on here. Not planking system, YouTube! We already went down that road. That was before... My time, at least. Nay, I mean, not before I was born, because that was like 2011. I was not born in 2011. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying here. Uh, but I think that was before I was on YouTube. Otherwise, you know, do my best to stay out of those, uh, you know, YouTube fad videos, because I have self-respect. We're gonna... You know, I gotta take the Sun card with me, so I might as well just abandon the Emperor card for now. Um, like, you didn't see me doing an Isaac Harlem shake or anything like that, or, you know, a cinnamon challenge as Kane with like an eye patch over my eye. Uh, so, you know, no harm, no foul. You probably would not have seen a planking video from me back then either. Not to shit on people who do that, as it might have come across there totally unintentionally. We are gonna get a cube of media, but it's gonna be weird, because we're gonna have full level Meat Boy. Uh, plus a single cube of meat. By the way, that, that whole tangent that I just went on, please don't take that to mean that I that I consider what I'm doing here is, like, with these Isaac videos, particularly to be, like, high art or anything like that. I'm just making conversation, shall we say. So, uh, I'm gonna reroll these, and you know what? I'm gonna take Brimstone if I'm gonna turn off a certain proportion of people who would already not watch, given that we had, um, permanent, or not permanent, uh, we had no item rooms, because I realize there's, you know, a certain proportion of people who like to see item rooms, and that's a-okay. Like, okay. Uh, might as well turn off everybody else by picking up Brimstone, in any case, I think we are set for what is probably going to be a fairly solid run here moving forwards. Brimstone is one of those items when I pick up Mom's Knife, I feel a little bad, because everybody knows that Mom's Knife is a good item, right? Like, there's no 
debate over that. Or there's, there is debate, because that's not fair to say, but there, there's very little debate over whether Mom's Knife is a good item. People constantly get into these debates over whether Brimstone is a good item, and especially for one Spirit Heart, it's normally two, but for one, as we got it in this deal, it is a staggeringly good item. I, I really can't understand uh, the mindset out there that people have that they think Brimstone is not a good item. It's, it's insanely powerful. Well, maybe not insanely. It's powerful. It allows you to hit... Might as well take this right away. Tears down. That kind of hurts in our situation, but it's all, right, all good. Uh, it allows you to immediately unleash, like, a killing blow that hits multiple enemies on the room as soon as you enter. So, you know, most rooms, if there's any kind of, like, stressor that's gonna be in your face right away, it automatically becomes a moot point, or at least highly lowered, because you manage to uh, do some damage to it right away. It's, it synergizes well with damage. It's kind of like a Ouija board. It's got... Uh, unlimited range like I seriously don't understand the debate over brimstone's usefulness I consider it to be one of the best items in the game certainly mom's knife is better uh, other items are better you know sacred heart is probably a little bit better uh, polyphemus is up there too you know I did the top 10 Isaac videos list so I didn't have to go through these conditions every single time uh, but yeah yeah brimstone gets a kind of a, a bad rap for a number of reasons. I also think Brimstone runs are totally fine from an entertainment an, an entertainment standpoint. Apologies for, again, stumbling over my words. I do want to play Demon Judgment here. I think this could work out very well for us. Uh, and we do have the bombs necessary to make it work here. We just want to not accidentally blow him up, which would obviously be terrible. Uh, so we'll just do this. And by the way, that isn't a straw man argument. Uh, the there is like constant debate whenever there's like a thread on our binding of Isaac That's like what's the most overrated item in the game people are like I don't understand why brimstone's good And I'm like you, you don't understand why brimstone's good motherfucker uh, We're gonna reroll this forget me now, and you know what trading that many hearts for ghost baby seems okay with me uh, We're obviously gonna see with the Sun card moving forward and because of little Chad, we will probably be able to get some more health. You know, I'm not super psyched that we ended up picking up Ghost Baby for our trouble there, but um, free item, basically, so I can't really complain. This is an XL floor, but we have been moving through it pretty quickly so far, so uh, it was awful damage on my part. And I really, this is the thing, I, I suffer from fairly uh, prominent hubris when I start to have good runs like this, and I get a little confident, because I, I shouldn't, because I my skill, or lack thereof, literally has no bearing on this run so far. It's all just been automatic, basically, based on... Oh, I thought that was Meat Boy! The reason I got close to that guy is I, I didn't realize it was an Island Suze guy. I thought that was actually our Meat Boy. Um, but, yeah, the, the, our success or failure on the run so far has been entirely dictated by the, you know, strength of our starting conditions. But in any case, let's go fight our bosses here. We're gonna fight Little Chad. Uh, this is actually not bad, because I believe in this situation, Little Chad is gonna end up giving us just a random boss item. If he gives us another little Chad, that would be disappointing, I suppose, but I don't know how the algorithm works this situation out. So we get a range upgrade. Obviously, we don't want that. We'll reroll and take a second cube of meat instead. All right, this could get real silly. Real. This is going to get real silly. We're going to get a second level Meat Boy and a third level Meat Boy working in conjunction. That is crazy damage. We, we've got kind of like, this is my ideal like pre-Wrath of the Lamb run right now. Uh... I, I'm just in an unbelievable, unbelievably euphoric state right now. If I could only get one more cube of meat, I would be super psyched. What do you got for me, Satan? Kind of expecting Krampus, to be honest with you. Again, I continue to have no idea how um, Brimstone scales with uh, Lump of Coal. But that being said, I can basically just hang out in the corner here. And Meat Boy 1 and Meat Boy 2 are going to do a fairly good job of just chewing this dude up. This is going to be an insane benefit for me moving forward. The negative, of course, is that... It's gonna make that um, Isaac and Blue Baby boss fight, or those Isaac and Blue Baby boss fights, I should say, real pains in the ass. They're gonna be serious problems, uh, considering we are going to have just like constant num num numbing on Isaac and Blue Baby. We have Crystal Labyrinth, which means we're on another XL floor here. Uh, that being said, oh, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot, you've ruined everything. Uh, that being said, the, the amount of damage that we're getting has gotta compensate for this. I mean, Isaac, presumably, there's got to be like a max rate of fire that Isaac and Blue Baby have. We're going to reach it. We were probably going to reach it regardless. Uh, so I, I really shouldn't stress out about it too much, I think. We do have some golden poop here, which means the single shop that we have remaining might be viable. Although, that being said, if I find the boss room right away, or boss rooms, I guess more accurately, uh, I will probably just go to them right away because I have no reason why not to. Now, the real question is... Oh, oh God, I'm trapped in hell. Uh, the real question is... If I get the option to take Mom's Knife, is it worth giving up some Red Hearts to make that happen? Red Heart Containers, I guess. 
I should say. Uh, I think it is. I think that would be probably a good value proposition right now. Although I'm not 100% sure, uh, it, you know, mathematically, if that's a smart idea. But I think it would probably work out in our favor. I do want to spend two keys to make this happen. I'm sure we'll get more keys later. I can't go to item rooms. Might as well try to get stat upgrades this way. Oh, there we go. Another HP upgrade. Now I feel a lot better about that possible situation that we've talked about. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Sorry, that's the first time anything's ever gone wrong. Uh, we are going to continue onwards here. Ghost Baby has been a little bit of an unsung hero as well. You know what? Let's play Judgment. We're going to back this up a little bit. And go to town on Judgment. Assuming uh, he's going to give us some kind of HP upgrade here. Giving us keys is useful as well. We might be able to use those in the chest. Not that we're necessarily going to get there. Uh, but things are looking okay so far. Another world card. Let's pop that up so we can see what's going on. And the compass! Wow. Judgment. You're too good to me. Now, we are going to just start making our way towards the boss room. If I get to 15 cents, then maybe I'll make my way back towards that shop. Obviously, at some point, I need to pick up a better uh, space bar item than what we currently have. Oh, that was bad. There we go. Um, yeah, we need to pick up a better space bar item than the D6. D6 has been good to us so far. At least decent to us so far. Uh, but we don't really have any real need to kind of continue using it, if that makes sense. We should probably just, uh, you know, get rid of it in favor of something more useful. A la, you know, a Book of Belial or something like that. Book of Belial would actually be awesome. Obviously the nail would be fantastic, but, uh, you know, I guess we're, we're kind of at the mercy of the, uh, the random number generator right now if they choose to give us a spacebar item. If they don't give us one soon, it might be best to just hold out until the chest and then we'll um, watch out for those neutral flies. Uh, Jesus, they spawn a lot of flies there. Yeah, it might be best to just hold off until the chest and then, um, you know, use the D6 there because that's when it becomes kind of beneficial again. Uh, it's damned. I don't know, there's too much shit going on. Alright, we're okay. We are almost out of spirit hearts, but we have enough red hearts to not feel too concerned about that, I think. Uh, now, if I, I wish these, like, level 4 and level 3, at least one of them, I wish would just kind of hang out near me at all times and just be, like, a sweet active shield. We're just going to start fighting these bosses since we're already here. We are going to get a fourth level, two fourth level Meat Boys running in conjunction. That is crazy, and the even crazier thing is that I feel like there's a reasonable chance that I might st somehow still fuck this run up. Uh, because, you know, we're not necessarily... We were insanely powerful from a weird kind of like passive damage standpoint. Oh, he's gonna catch me! Twice! Get him, me boys! I gotta just kinda keep doing this roundabout circle here. I, I might have to use the sun card on this mom boss fight, which was unexpected. I might have to use it on this fucking war boss fight. Okay, we are. Wow, that was unlikely. I thought, anyway. But hey, there's our second fourth level meat boy. I guess if we get another cube of meat, we're just not gonna pick it up, because that might, uh fuck up the game but two fourth level meat boys is pretty awesome from a damage standpoint and what are the odds of that especially not having a a, a book of revelations i don't know man it, it seems shockingly unlikely for me but in any case this is one of the probably like two or three times i've had two fourth level meat boys it might be the first but i think i've, de I've definitely at least had like a fourth and a second level before just good luck, I guess. Again, random number generator working out in my favor. That was obviously a very easy boss fight against Mom. We don't want the money, so instead, yeah, we'll take the tears and HP upgrade. Obviously, we need the Polaroid moving down to the next floor. Let's make it happen. 13 minutes, we are already through the depths and whatnot. And you know what? We do want to come down here and go to this library. Even if it's not the right way, even if our boss room uh, is exactly the opposite direction, we want to go to this uh, library because the potential to get a Book of Belial or a Book of Revelations is uh, too good to pass up, quite frankly. Either of those items would be fantastic. I mean, we have had bad luck with uh, libraries in our past. You might get Telepathy for Dummies. Yep, two Telepathy for Dummies, in fact. Let's just pop these open. And you know what? We are going to get a D6 charge before we come back. Or before we finish this floor. So I might as well go through with that and, uh, you know, come back here. Now, I would love a speed upgrade, to be honest with you. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm real slow. Almost as if, like, Brimstone carries a speed downgrade along with it or something. Obviously, I don't think that's the truth, but it certainly feels that way right now. Uh, I, I want to take out that vaginal... Oh, thank you. That was too easy. Now, we are going to come back this way, uh, and in doing so... We'll have a reroll on this library. So far, so good on this run, but things come crashing down pretty quickly. Uh, two books of sin. All right, well, we'll pop one of those books of sin and two of spades. Going to give us double the keys. Fantastic. Uh, D6, still better moving forwards, because what is uh, book of sin going to give us? More hearts? Probably don't need them yet, at least, because little Chad's going to hook us up pretty solid. 
Book of Sin only works like once every four rooms anyway. Um, what, what else could we possibly need from Book of Sin? Bombs and keys. You know, bombs, you could probably justify that from a, a, a mom's heart kind of frame that we're gonna need more bombs to deal with her, but we probably won't actually because of, you know, the Meat Boys would cause those bombs to probably deflect into us as much as they would actually do damage to mom herself. Uh, and beyond that, we already have Brimstone, so we kind of don't need bombs to do crowd control type damage. So, you know, from our current situation, I, I don't really feel like Book of Sin is a, a good pickup. Even if D6 is not a great hold to have right now, uh, it's a better hold than I believe picking up uh, the D6 would be. Or, sorry, picking up Book of Sin would be. We're trading a bomb and two keys to get literally three cents. That was a terrible deal, but it was worth it in my mind, at least before we knew what was inside the chest, just to see if we had uh, you know, the opportunity to get some kind of stats upgrade. So we are going to be fighting Conquest here. Uh, I don't think this fight's going to be super difficult. There are, um, do we get Cuba meat or do we get White Pony here? If we get White Pony, I might actually take that instead of the D6. Because the ability to fly synergizes super well with Grimstone, obviously. Uh, it's been an easy fight so far. That's bad damage on my part, but I can always replenish that from the existing Red Hearts on the level. Even if we don't get any for killing him, which we do. And we get the White Pony. I'll take it. Does that improve my speed as well? I seem a little bit faster. Uh, and we can get all of these hearts as well now. Now, White Pony, not uh, something I'm going to want to hold necessarily till the very end of the game. But it, it's a solid item to have right now, I feel. And let's just continue making our... Man, remember when you could just fly into mob trap rooms if you had the ability to fly? You could, like, fly in, grab the item, and fly out? Those were the days, man. So now, It's easy to forget how much uh, the, the patches have changed things. That was seriously, like, so beneficial to just be like, Oh, there's an item in there. Free skeleton key. Herp the derp. That was great. It's probably only been like, what, maybe like 200 episodes since that happened. Wow, 200. It's only been six and a half months since that happened. It's weird how your time scale gets distorted when you're doing these videos every day. Uh, let's hope we get some kind of HP or damage upgrade from Judgment here. Or a better spacebar item, don't get me wrong there, I wouldn't mind that. Two of Hearts is actually an awesome card to have because we have been getting a little bit into it from a health standpoint. We're getting, getting a little bit worried about our long-term possibilities there. Six Red Hearts is not usually enough to beat the game with, and I don't have the kind of damage to necessarily make me feel way better about dealing with that. Steam Sale, uh, probably the worst item you could have given us right now beyond something that was literally useless. Actually, this is literally useless, so never mind. So it's tied for the worst item we could possibly get along with like, you know, 30 other items. Now this is not the right way to the boss room, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a mistake. There could possibly be some benefits of coming over here. Well, yes there is, more spirit hearts. If we could only pick up something like the relic or the miter, I would be stoked. In the meantime though, we have no reason to stress out the <clears throat> mom, mom's hard boss fight, which is what we're dealing with next. Should not be bad at all. Uh, especially given that we have these double meat boys doing a lot of chewing right now. Seriously, one fourth level meat boy is really good. Uh, two fourth level meat boys is just kind of like, who do I have to thank? Somebody up there likes me right now. Not only as, uh, you know, offense, but also as defense, because as these guys, uh, as enemies kind of come to us, if I'm shooting at enemies at range like this, as enemies come to us, they're kind of like just bodyguards that surround us and protect us from all that could possibly bother us. Now we are fighting Peep here. Uh, they also have like exactly the same AI it seems, so they usually uh, function in tandem. So if one of them gets on a good track and actually starts, you know, tracking the proper enemies, which is, you know, kind of rare actually with when you're talking about Meat Boys, uh, then both of them do. So it's a, it's a very, it's a net positive for sure. Now I do have, uh, you know, the active ability from the uh, White Pony, but I'm probably not going to use it too much. I'll probably save that for some kind of crowd control. I also want to make sure that these Meat Boys are, are constantly doing damage to Mom's heart. Because if they're not, then uh, we're wasting time, essentially. So I'm just going to try to keep Monstro fairly close to the center, because I want to get close to the center so the Meat Boys can hang out there. Perfect. All right, now we've, we've kind of botched that again. But the reason I don't want to drop bombs in here is that... Uh, God damn, I don't have quite enough damage to kill everything before the, um, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Just let me think for a second. God, YouTube. Uh, I don't have quite enough damage to kill everything as soon as it comes out, uh, meaning that these guys get, like, untargeted from Mom's heart, which is unfortunate. We have permanent bombs? We do. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy about the situation. 
We're gonna let Mom basically kill Chubb, and we'll let our Meat Boys kill Mom. It's a great little uh, pyramid scheme that we've got going on here. More of a line, really. But let's head up to the next floor. Cathedral's gonna be very interesting. 50-50 uh, on whether we're gonna have any chance at all. Uh, of, of beating it, uh, but if we do, any chance at all of beating it? The Northern Lion story. We'll definitely uh, take Book of Revelations. Now, the real question is, is the White Pony better than Book of Belial? Wait a minute. Why are, we were still flying there after we picked up Book of Belial. I think Book of Belial is going to be more beneficial. Uh, we're not going to be dealing with spikes too much, and the White Pony's active effect is not really useful at all for us. Uh, the real negative here, as I take another hit of damage, um, the real negative though is the, the speed downgrade that is kind of associated with this. Death card will just pop on the next room, which will hopefully just make that an automatic one. Excellent. Uh, more or less automatic, those neutral flies kind of got on my ass afterwards. Uh, this is going to be interesting, I don't know if we have a chance of success here. Two of hearts is going to be valuable, obviously I'm going to pop that as soon as uh, I get down to three hearts, and hopefully that will make it possible for us to succeed. Um, Widow room, oh, you know the, the unsung hero over here is that uh, tinted rock up there in the top right. Do we know what this pill does? It might be Balls of Steel. Oh, there's another Balls of Steel equivalent there, and Bad Trip, which is actually better than uh, this Two of Hearts card. So I say we just go for it right now. This could be interesting. Obviously, want to pop Book of Belial right away. Uh, obviously, we're going to be in the middle of some serious shit uh, because it's going to be borderline impossible for us to dodge all of these shots that are coming out. I might even want to focus entirely on dodging and divert mental energy from doing attacking of my own. It's not going fantastically so far, but it's probably sustainable. We're, we're probably going to be able to beat this, assuming Bad Trip does what Bad Trip is supposed to do, which is give us full health when we get down to one heart. We're doing damage, a lot of it. Uh, we're going to be able to get items on the chest, just nothing Dr. Fetus related. Doctor's orders. Uh, keep moving, keep moving. Meat Boy is just kind of like an unsung hero here, like vice grips on uh, Isaac. And we succeeded there with a, a little bit of strife, but still alive. Uh, so now we'll come down here and we'll see what we've got in our chests. Chest 1 is Peeper's Eye. Decent passive, worth picking up. Chest 2 is the Razor Blade, not worth it. Uh, we will take Remote Detonator just to get the 5-bomb bonus. And... Odd Mushroom, vastly increased rate of fire. Uh, I'm not sure if this works in conjunction with Brimstone, assuming it does though, that's a pretty cool pickup. Uh, we also, I think it conveys some kind of speed upgrade with it, uh, which might be the most important part of that, believe it or not. We do have a pill here as well. Uh, I'm still not doing very much damage. In a way, it almost makes me want to take Razor Blade, uh, and then just, like, it. oh, you know what, that might be an interesting way to do things. I was thinking take Razor Blade to hurt the shit out of yourself, and then when you get super low, uh, just pop bad trip, but actually it's probably not the best solution, because we can just have Book of Belial, which will already give us a damage bonus, and effectively give us double health for that boss fight, so, uh, I think this is, this Balls of Steel fantastic, I think it's a, the smarter thing to do to just kind of ignore that idiocy that just came to mind. Now we have the bad trip pill, uh, that's a very important one for us still moving forwards, uh, I might not be fast enough to get away from Gluttony, and I am taking some serious damage, I really really can't afford to use Bad Trip before the boss fight. That would be a, a colossal failure. Now, this Wrath is proving exceptionally strong. We did get a Spirit Heart. Uh, he dropped Mr. Boom, which is not worthwhile for us. I mean, we could have used Mr. Boom on this room, uh, but I don't think that's good, and we might have ended up getting sued by the Venga Boys or something. Uh, just play it cool and hang out here. Mostly I'm just attacking the bomb flies, to be honest with you. I'm letting the meat boys do what they do on the other dudes. Uh, but mostly I'm just trying to long term, or long range, shoot these bomb flies. And you know what? We're going to have a decent amount of health for this blue baby boss fight. And I think we're going to have a, a very good chance to succeed, to be honest with you. So we're going to pop up Belial right away. We've done this before. Obviously. Uh, and we're just going to try to focus on dodging. Although, you know, if I end up... Having to take a lot of damage, as I kind of have so far. Uh, just got to focus on popping that bad trip pill at the right time. Which is easier said than done, but shouldn't be too complex. One more hit and I pop it. I, I took that one right on the chin and somehow didn't take damage. We're going to win this one. Again, assuming bad trip does what bad trip does. So we're going to pop that full health pill. Uh, it, would, it would be very disappointing for me if I lost at this point, given that uh, we just got full health. Again, in the middle of the boss fight, and amazingly, 
This is not, uh, this is becoming kind of a common trend where uh, pills or tarot cards end up basically saving my runs at the last possible second just through good luck. But in any case, again, thank you to Mini Evan for that challenge run suggestion. That was a quick one, an easy one, not necessarily dependent on my skill, but uh, a kind of an unusual one because we got both of these fourth level meat boys again. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go into the chest here, continue suggesting your own challenge runs, and I will do the ones that are most entertaining or appropriate. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.